Be like water. Be like water. Jasmine, be like water. This is a mantra that I've replayed in my mind uh, almost constantly, probably since last April. I first heard it when I was running out of breath on the treadmill. I was ready to quit, give up, sweaty, all of that stuff. Like many of us, I, I joined one of these national apps early in the pandemic because we couldn't go to pr uh, professional gyms anymore. This particular app has these coaches that say, all of these one-liners that they say to motivate you or encourage you along the way. Jess Sims, one of my favorite coaches. On this day, just when I was running out of breath, said these words, be like water. For some reason, it hooked me in. I finished running on the tread treadmill. And then when I left, I continued to think about and resonate and meditate on these words, be like water. Later, I came to find out that it was connected to Bruce Lee, who in 1973, during an interview, said these words. Be like water making its way through the cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object and you shall find your way around or through it, he says. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put it in a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put water into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Water can crash or it can drip. Be water, my friend, he says. This quote resonated with me so deeply, I actually got it tattooed on my wrist. <laughs> because I wanted to remind myself of it almost daily. It was that important. The thing is, I think this might surprise some of you who don't know me well, but I have huge issues with control. I'm actually the worst kind of perfectionist. I don't do well <laughs> when things are not going well, when I feel like I'm not at my best, when I feel like I'm not achieving the things that are on my to-do list, when I feel like I'm behind, when things are out of my control. So as you can imagine, the pandemic with its isolation, hypervigilance, fear, ongoing racial violence, intergenerational exhaustion and racial battle fatigue was incredibly difficult for me to manage. Everything that we faced collectively over the past year, everything that I have faced individually has quite frankly been out of my control. So I think I thought in the beginning that I would just force my way through it, that I would be rigid and strong and power through, that it would end quickly it didn't, and I couldn't. And on that very day in April, when the world was crashing around me, the walls were falling, I decided to run on the treadmill. And that's when I heard these words, be like water. Be solid like water, be still like water, be calm like water. Water is fluid. Water is reflective, it's beautiful, it's adaptable, it's life nurturing. Water is strong enough to create space, but calm enough to be absolutely still. Water transforms itself actually between liquid, solid, and gas, depending on the need, right? Water makes small ripples and big waves. Water doesn't shrink itself to fit or to be seen as acceptable. Water just flows in the direction that it was called to go. The funny thing is that even in preparation for this talk, I wrote a whole other talk, a whole different script that was absolutely connected to how you see me at UMBC as a diversity, equity, and inclusion professional. Of course, I was gonna tell you about social justice and all the things that we need to do to be anti-racist or anti-homophobic or insert thing. The truth is I wasn't called to that. It didn't feel inspiring for the moment. It didn't speak to me in the ways that I wanted to speak to you. So, interestingly enough, as I was trying to figure out what I was going to say and grappling with how that didn't speak to me in the way that I wanted it to, the world starts falling apart again. I start feeling overwhelmed again. I'm feeling behind at work. I'm not talking to my family. And then, here we go again, called back to these words. Be like water, Jasmine. Be like water. I think the greatest gift, ironically, in reflection that this horrible year has given me is the gift of letting go, of being shapeless, of being adaptable, 
and fluid. To be like water is a lesson, it's actually a gift that I learned in COVID that will actually serve me beyond this season. And actually more than just a lesson, this mantra, this practice of being like water truly sustained me. I think it's so easy to give into life's struggles, to buckle beneath the burden of the weight that we've been carrying this year. On the other hand, I think it's really easy to lean so heavily into the positivity, to only focus on the silver linings and paint the world with rainbows and sprinkles, which we know can also be toxic. What I love about water is that when it flows, it doesn't avoid the nooks and crannies. It actually flows in darkness. And it flows to the deepest, darkest parts of the earth that we may never actually even see. I think the whole point of why I'm sharing this with you is, is not really only to share this lesson, this gift that I've learned with you, but to call you into your own reflection, your own meaning making of what has come, what you've learned, and I think almost more importantly, to think about what has sustained you. Be it your family, your friends, your loved ones. Perhaps it's the connections to ancestors or legacy that you have. Or maybe it's actually just your ability to laugh and cry, to find joy and be enraged, to be overwhelmed and still find peace and all of those things at the exact same time in response to life. Whatever it is, do not let this moment, this chapter, this season pass by without grabbing those gifts, those lessons, and cultivating them over time, even as we continue to navigate this global experience. I once was told a long time ago that nothing ever has to be lost, that every single thing we experience in our life the good, the bad, the ugly, we get to use all of it to prepare us for whatever may be coming next. What will you be taking forward? What I'm taking forward is this meditation to be like water, to be beautiful, to be brave, to be adaptable, to be expansive, and always to flow like water. Thank you.